We cross over to the western region where dredging work under the Takrade port expansion project is expected to be completed by the end of February. So far, 75% of the dredging has been done whilst 55% of reclamation works have also been completed. This was disclosed by the director of the Ghana, by the Takrade port, uh, Captain James Usu Kurantin, when the Minister for Transport, Jifa Tivo, undertook an inspection tour of the Takrade port to assess the progress on the project. Transport Minister and her entourage were first briefed in a PowerPoint presentation by the director of the Takradi port, Captain James Usukranting, on the work done so far on the port expansion project as well as the operational activities of the port. The minister then went on a cruise to the project site to see at first hand the expansion works going on. Conducting the minister and entourage round, the port director explained to them that 550,000 cubic meters out of the 770,000 cubic meters of the port to be dredged has been done. He said that dredging is an important aspect of the project which has a number of advantages. He explained that the dredging will allow the maximum export of manganese and bauxite and the import of clinker and wheat among others. The dredging will also remove double handling of cargo, ensure quick turnaround time for vessels, increase revenue for the country and also generate more employment. Captain Uzu Krantin also explained that the reclamation works at the port is to create a commercial and industrial hub for investors. After the tour, Mrs. Jifa Ativo told newsmen that she was highly impressed with the progress being made on the project. She said the project holds a lot of prospects for the development of the nation. The private sector investors have come on board to get places to invest in. So I think the, the potential here is very, very, very great, especially with the discovery of oil in the western region. Everybody wants to come here. Everybody wants to come here to do business. And I think it's good for the economy. 